This is a rubbish dump near the center of the Malian capital, Bamako. It is also a refugee camp. There are about 400 people living there, families belonging to the Fulani ethnic group who fled violence in the center of the country. They've been there since December. Our observer is a law student called Diahara Toure. She was shocked by the conditions she found. The camp's in the middle of a rubbish tip. These people live in shelters that are made of trash. You'll have as many as 15 people living in one tent. Sometimes they burn the rubbish to make space. Everyone in the camp is sick because of the smoke and the smell that comes from the burning trash. The children have no shoes, no clothes. The mother's the same. It's horrible. I was shocked. I was amazed to see people living in such inhumane conditions on a trash heap just next to me. I decided to take some pictures and post them on Twitter, asking for help. Diahara managed to raise 3,500 euros to buy food, clothing and shoes for the refugees. We started two funds, one for people from Bamako, another for people from outside. We decided to get everything they need right here in Bamako. After buying everything, we did an initial distribution of what we'd bought. There's still a lot to give out. But the best thing for them would be to get out. We've done all we can. We've tried to get them food and clothes, everything they need. Now we want to get the authorities to do something for them. Other people have been circulating images of the camp online too, and it's beginning to have an impact. The authorities cleaned up part of the camp in February and installed new tents. Temporary measures until they find a long-term home for the families.